One is finishing our power. So if I finish with my right hand and I get him moving backwards, I'm going to walk him down and use my power, all right? Okay? So there's also the jab of the legs. The closest thing to our bodies right now is not our jab. It's my leg, my shin to the inside of his leg here. You see it all the time. It's called the jab of the legs. I use it at a time where you just skip into it and then pop out. It's not going to knock you out, but it's also going to discourage you from moving forward. I use it a lot when people move towards me and they, oh, boom, it just opens up their leg and just kind of gets them to stay still for a minute. It really discourages forward momentum. In pure kickboxing, that's what they use to stop people from moving forward is the body kick or the leg kick. He moves forward, boom, that just stops him in his tracks. Okay? A little tougher when he can grab that leg as a wrestler, though. So right now, we're just going to we're gonna do two types of kick defenses very lightly with each other. We're just going to pop our leg in a little bit like this. Go ahead. Kick. Go. Just going to touch it like that, okay? Again. Just going to touch it a bit, okay? And we're going to spring. We're trying to load up this right hand or the right kick. So we're going to do both of these counters. So uh, right now, we just, just go back and forth between throwing the right hand and the right kick. So here's one. Pop, pop. That's one. This one here. Pop, pop, two. Rule of thumb is you should always be able to land your right kick. If he throws his left at you, you block it, he puts it down, and it should be in range of your, of your right kick as a high percentage play, but you get more knockouts with the right hand. So let's turn that hip over. Let's load up this other hip. Spring with the right hand. Here, spring with the right hand. Awesome. Begin. 